Welcome to Beards and Camo. I hope this finds everybody happy and healthy. On this video, I'm going to tell y'all a little squat story. This came out of the state of Alabama. The fellow that told this story, he said that this all happened on his grandpa's land. His grandpa owned 60 acres. And the whole time growing up, Grandpa told the kids that it was a section over that they ain't allowed to go to. You stay away. No matter what, stay away. You ain't allowed. If you go over there, I'll tan you hide. Time rolls on. Everybody grows up. And uh the fella that told the story, he gets into hunting and such. Well, this one particular day, he's out hunting. He ventures over to the Forbidden Zone. And as y'all might guess it, crazy things start happening. Stuff gets thrown at him. He starts hearing howls and yells and screams and such. He starts seeing Bigfoot, right? So he calls his day and he goes back to Grandpa's. Tells Grandpa. Grandpa said, I told you. I told you, I told you, I told you. Stay away from that area. Now you know why. Well, the storyteller's brother is ex-military and a self-proclaimed badass. She says, bah, that's a bunch of horse shit. I don't believe in any of that. And if it is true, they are out there. Oh, I'll deal with it. Ain't afraid. So him and his buddy, who is also ex-military, so they get a, their uh, pet pit bulls, and they go out and they set up camp, right? Right on the dead burn border where Grandpa says don't go. Testing fate. So. Oh, and they got, I guess they got their 45s or 9 millimeters or whatever the hell it is they got. They ain't worried about it. Well, the evening goes... No problem. They go to bed. Go to sleep. Well, they woke up to the get woke up to the god awfulest noise. Dogs is carrying on, squalling, screaming. Say, so look out! What do they see? It's the old Bigfoot. And he's ripping them pit bulls to pieces. Ripping them to pieces. So. They hightail it back. Back to the house. Grandpa says, I told you, son. I told you you don't want to listen to me. He says, well, we're going to get the authorities. We're going to get the posse up. We're going to get our guns locked and loaded. We're going to go deal with them SOBs. Grab a scenario. 
You ain't gonna do a thing. Number one, they don't mess with me. I stay in my area. They stay in theirs. I let them be. They let me be. We don't cross that border. It's been that way for a long, long time. Number two, I have seen approximately 30 of those beings, and I'm pretty sure y'all ain't gonna be able to do shit to them. Let it go. Chalk up your dead dogs as a loss. What do you think about that? I can see it. I got a bunch of land. These beings want to habitate part of it. And they're going to leave me alone. I'm going to let them. Heck yeah, I am. This kind of hits home a little bit because out where I camp on my family land, I had something happen. I got chased out of a certain area and I am a firm believer that I am not to go in that area. So I will never go in that area again. Everything's been just fine ever since. Well, I know that was a quickie. Sometimes people like quickies, right? If your poppy tells you, don't go somewhere, don't go. There just might be a reason, right? Right. All right, then. Y'all get out there, you be careful. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Thank you very much for your support. And as always, I love you. God loves you. We out. Hey, by the way, what you think about my paneling? I love it. Lighter.